Hey, what up you guys and welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanna go over the five things that I wish I would've known more about before I started my companies and the five things that I probably made the most mistakes in. So let's go over each of them and I'll explain to you exactly what I mean. All right, you guys, so number one is definitely gonna be taxes. Taxes was a area which I was super freaked out about at the beginning of you know starting my companies. I really didn't know, I really didn't know anything about it, honestly. I thought that you know the IRS was gonna come knocking on my door one day and you know take me to jail and all this crazy stuff, but Taxes really aren't as scary as you would think. You really just have to find a good accountant, a good CPA that understands your business, understands your industry, and really can help work with you to come up with the perfect tax plan for your individual company to make the most sense and to hopefully keep the most money in your company's pocket. Taxes, like I said, aren't as scary as you think. Just try to really do some research, you know, YouTube, tons of stuff. There's different blogs from actual accountants and really just try to find a local accountant that understands what you're going through and come up with a plan to make the best out of it. All right, you guys, so number two is gonna be credit cards. So when I started my companies, I was super afraid of, uh, honestly, acquiring any debt. You know, society tells you that debt is bad and credit cards are evil, debit is the way to go, spend the, only the money that you have. Over time, I learned that by leveraging certain credit cards, you're actually able to you know, get points, get travel points. For me specifically, I like cash back cards, so I go with the Capital One 2% cash back Spark card, and that gives me 2% back for every dollar I spend unlimited throughout the year. So if you're spending millions of dollars throughout your company, that's gonna give you a lot of money by the end of the year. So credit cards was another thing I knew nothing about, I wish I would know more about, and I made a lot of mistakes on the way. But again, do your research. Uh, there's tons of blogs out there, there's tons of YouTube videos on the top credit cards. These days, I feel like we all kind of understand credit cards a little better but back years ago honestly credit cards were honestly looked at more of like a devil the evil uh you know the evil thing in your pocket that you kind of can't control but credit cards is something i would really look into and really try to leverage for your company all right you guys so number three is definitely all social medias so what i mean by that is honestly from the start, I really wasn't leveraging all social medias and all social outlets. I was really just using the ones that I loved, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. But years later, I really look back now and I wish I would have utilized all social medias, YouTube, like this video right here, email marketing, just anything that you can do to get your word across to sell stuff. I really recommend doing right away from the start. Right now, I'm kind of backtracking. I'm learning Pinterest, I'm learning Snapchat ads. And it's not it's not that hard to learn, but the thing is, is if you take the time at the beginning and really learn them all from the start, you can then get that much better and become an expert in every single outlet that there is and you can make that much more money and be that much further ahead years to come all right you guys number four is outsourcing so I kind of learned this firsthand I um, have always dreamt of having a big team an office you know the whole big business idea that you have when you're a kid or when you see it in the movies but what I learned quickly is that outsourcing is one of the best ways to really grow your business you know and save a bunch of money keep a bunch more money in your pocket I ended up getting a big office space at one point and thought about building this building out this giant team and I quickly learned that we could really outsource and use apps and software to really run most of the parts of our business even though we have a physical product business as our biggest business there's still so much you can do so right now we have a one per, one employee team and me and we generate you know millions of dollars a year in revenue and we still have time to you know make videos like this and still have time to have fun and everything else so if you just learn a lot more about outsourcing and you utilizing like Upwork and just utilizing other apps and softwares, you can really, um, you know, grow your business kind of to the, to the moon with very little, you know, humans uh, to really worry about. So I would really look into outsourcing right off the bat when you start your stuff and get going because that's something I look back on and wish I would have utilized right from the beginning. All right, you guys, so finally, number five is just long-term thinking. That's something that I really didn't do much about when I was younger. I mean, I'm still pretty young, 25, but when I was 20, 21, I started making decent money online. I was kind of making it, spending it for a little bit. I wasn't as crazy as some of the people as some of the people online that you can kind of see, you know, go broke or whatever, but I was making some money, saving some and spending a lot of it. But at this point in time, years later, again, I wish I would have looked, I looked back and I wish I would have just had a long-term outlook on everything as far as what I'm doing and just kind of building, like I always say, planting seeds for like, you know, five, 10, 15, 20. I mean, life is long, 25 years, 30 years down the road, even for my kids one day. I wish I would have had the long-term thinking model right from the beginning. Now, luckily at 25, I'm trying to plant a lot of small seeds and just slowly water them, let them all grow. But long-term thinking is something I would tell new entrepreneurs as well as anyone that really, you know, needs it. And just really look at everything that you do, you know, today, not for today, but for tomorrow, next year, next year, next year. Year, it's kind of always you know an ongoing thing of building up a big you know future for yourself and your business 
All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. Those were the five, you know, biggest tips and mistakes slash advice I would give my, you know, my younger self or any other entrepreneur if I were to look back and, you know, think of the most important things. So I hope it provided some value to you guys. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know, you know, in the, in the comments. Let me know any type of things that you guys, you know, agree or disagree with or, you know, when your own uh, circumstances have dealt with. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks again.